We can animate text inside of After Effects very easily. Text has different properties that other things that you animate inside of After Effects don't seem to have. For example, in the layer from my text that I typed here, if I twirl it open, you see that we have a text property and this word animate right next to it. Now what I'm going to do is qu quickly create a new solid. And we'll twirl that open and you'll notice that we don't have that option. Once again I'll twirl open text, it says animate. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this solid and let's explore what this animate does for us. If we click on this little arrow, you see that we have the ability to enable per character 3D, which I talk about elsewhere in this tutorial. And we can also choose the properties that we want to animate. So let's go ahead and just try opacity. It twirls open the opacity and it highlights the area that we selected. So I can go ahead and put the stopwatch on and scrub this down, move a little bit into my timeline and scrub it so that it comes back and we've animated the opacity. We can also go back to this and choose the add. You'll notice that we have one property already selected and we have the ability to add other effects. So I'll go back here again and I'll animate a skew this time. And as before, the skew highlights so we know where we are. I'll go ahead and put the stopwatch on skew. I'll move over a little bit like so, back to the last frame and we'll skew the text, which is like the wind blowing it down. So not only is it going to fade in, it's also going to lean. And of course we can continue by going back to add yet again. This time I'm going to choose, let's see, scale. And we'll enable this and we're going to drop the scale down and we'll scrub to the end and we'll scale the text up. So we can just add and build onto this. It's really cool. And I don't know exactly why the other elements don't have this animate tab here with these add buttons because oftentimes we do want to enable different properties as far as animation is concerned. Once again, I'm going to head back here again and we're going to choose a blur. So I'm going to once again put this on the first frame. I'll go to the last frame and I can choose to blur the text. I'm actually going to go in the middle a little bit and put that off. So we can read the text as it blurs out first. As a matter of fact, you can really, like anything else, change the properties at any time by simply moving along the timeline and changing any of these properties here. So if this skews too much for you when you get to the end, just drop it back a little bit like so, and then scrub. So it fades in, it leans, and then it blurs out. And that is how we can use the animate property ability on our text.